y'all this is Dina welcome to my channel I am back working on my craft fair tonight and like I said in my last video I was going to start doing some arrangements and so forth and last week when I made the paper houses I um had put some like cotton and stuff around it but anyway I wanted to make some kind of scene on this wood piece right here I purchased this um at Hobby Lobby it was five dollars and I thought it would make a great base for for a nice Christmas scene. Last year, I made some nice boxes with arrangements in it and so forth. And I want to do the same thing this year as well. Um, I probably will have a couple of them. But when I saw this, I thought this would be great. I have some of these wood houses. Now, this particular wood house, I've already got it painted along the edges um, in white. But um, these actually came from Target. Um, I've had them in my stash for a while. They were in the one spot or the bullseye spot. And so that's where I got them from. And I thought they would be so cute to make a little scene. Now, um, I've had these little trucks in my stash as well. And um, I had to run and get some greenery at Hobby Lobby. And I picked up some more bottle brushes because I thought that would be super cute. So anyway, I thought I would create a scene on here and hot glue it in. It would be something different and something really sweet. Um, last year, I did put, like I said, I did put a few uh, arrangements and I sold three out of four. So that was a win to me. I only took four. So this will be one of the, something a little different, but on the lines of that. So anyway, I think the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to, I thought about this and I've been thinking about what I should do. Let me grab my white paint. But I think I'm going to kind of paint up inside here white. And so I'm just using my chalk paint at it Hobby Lobby. And I'm just going to come on in here and just paint just kind of up inside here. This, this paint is very thick. I want to try to get over to like where that ring is right there. That's what I want to, that's my goal. I'm not gonna paint the bottom. I think I'm gonna leave that in the raw, but I thought it would kind of represent if I put like cotton or whatever over it, it would be like snow almost, and it would kind of give me that white. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna do on that. It doesn't have to be perfect, just something super simple. Okay, so I'm gonna put this aside and I'm gonna let it dry. And let me see if I can get this glob right here. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna let it dry. Let's put it aside here. Now the house, I've got like, I've got like dust and sanding paper dust and all kinds of stuff on here. Okay, so I've already went ahead and picked out some paper. I'm going to do this red and white on the front. And on the back, I'm going to do this piece. That's a really pretty piece. I like that a lot. So all I did for this to cut these out is I just traced around this on my paper. And then I cut it down just a little bit just so it would fit right up inside. Because you want to make sure that you paint along the edge here so that way then it's white and then by me doing that as you see it just fit fits right up inside here okay grabbing my I need to grab another paintbrush and I am going to just use my wood glue and I'm using this one I got from the wood connection they don't sell it anymore but any kind of glue will probably work for you my husband is off today and we ate dinner early 
And he said, now you've got plenty of time to go make your video. I said, yes, I do. Okay. I get this glue down here. I'm hoping that I have enough. There we go. It's coming. Coming down. Okay. And my husband got his cast off today. He is in a splint now and he has to wear this for for four weeks. And then he'll have to do a little therapy. So he said it's pretty sore still, but the doctor said that's kind of how it is, you know, so Okay, get your glue all the way to the edge, okay? And I'm gonna use this piece right here, making sure that this is going to be right up inside of your house. See what that is? That looks so pretty. And you're gonna take it and you're gonna press this down. And if it moves a little bit, just gonna push it back, it's okay. See if I've got kind of a scraper tool here. I want to make sure that's down really nicely. No buckling allowed. Okay. Okay, so there's the side. And I'm gonna flip it over. I've got a little glue over there. I'm gonna add my glue to this side. If you are doing a craft fair, tell me what kind of things do you make? Do you make arrangements and add a little bit larger items into your craft fair? Um, let me know. I'm interested to know the kind of things that you do make for your craft fair. I hope that something that is on my channel has inspired you to make. I hope that that you are able to, to find something on my channel that will help you in your craft fair or giving to friends or whatever you'd like to do. What's important is just having you be inspired and for you to, you to just uh, do something that makes you happy. Okay. Don't you love that? That is so pretty. Love, love, love. Now, I think that I'm going to have this part facing forward. And I need to check this. I want to see. It's drying. It's drying really good. So, for my little house, of course, y'all know I add little wreaths to my things. And I've got a habit of doing this. But I love adding little wreaths to the front. And let me see. What did I do with my... Oh, here. So I buy these at Hobby Lobby. They're in the Christmas section. And I buy like several packs of them. And all you need to do, you can make a wreath as big or as small as you want. And all you're going to do is take it and twist it. This one's about six inches. You take it and you're just going to twist the top. And that is all you're going to do. There, you end up with a wreath. And I'm just going to put a nice big old wreath on here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my glue. I'm going to get my hot glue over here. Okay, here comes my glue here. Sorry about that, y'all. And I want to put it up toward the top. Okay. Put this up here. I need to grab another glue stick on it. Okay, you want to press this down, make sure it's adhered really well. Okay. And while that's adhering, I want to make sure that it's all in there. I am now going to 
go over here and I'm going to wrap some twine around it. I like to wrap a few times. it around the third time and now I'm going to just tie a knot. I'm going to tie a knot. Just like this. I like to do like this. I think it just gives it something. And I think before I do anything else, I want to add something hanging off here, like a little tag or something. I think that I like the joy to the world. That's really cute. Now, if I have to go up a little bit, I will. And I like this hanging down. So I'm going to grab my hole punch, okay, and I'm going to kind of add it this on here like this, just tie a little knot, and then I think I'll tie one more so it will stay. And I'm just going to trim this off. Like this. If I need to bring it up higher, I will. That way then it doesn't drag on the ground. So there we go. Of course, this needs a bow. So let me grab some ribbon. Maybe I'll go this route. This ribbon came from Hobby Lobby. Um, it's wired. So you can just shape it and go. I'm going to turn it where I can see all the pretty on the outside when I'm making my bow. Finished up my tags that I was doing yesterday. So it feels good to check something else off of a list. Okay, so there we go. It's looking good you just got to play with it okay sometimes you just gotta work with it okay there okay i like it okay so i'm gonna turn this off i'm just gonna trim the edges This is going to go up here. I might need to trim these off a little more. It's a little, a little long. Okay, so this is going to go up here. I've got glitter everywhere. Adding in some glue. down okay that'll 
looks good. I think this one's a little bit longer trimming. So just like that. And then let's get the glitter off. You see the glitter? That looks cute, huh? Okay, let's add some of these little berries maybe on our oh sorry to the y'all, my husband's in there. It sounds like he's doing laundry. Get yourself a man like that, y'all. Okay, I like that. I'm going to trim this down. I'm going to glue this on. are new to my channel have y'all ever seen the video of my husband making a card i can't get him to do the video again but he did a good job he refuses to do it <sighs> he needs to do it okay you want to think that looks fairly good. Okay. I like that. Okay, I'm going to leave that like that. And now I think this, I think I'm going to make this the front. So this is going to sit like this. Okay. Doesn't that look pretty? Let me get the glitter off. I like that. It's going to go like this. And I'm going to hot glue it to this base. I have a truck. I think I'll set it like this. You want to be able to see the house. And maybe I'll do like this. I'm thinking that's what I'll do. Okay. I have to stop for just a second. So I think I'm going to start by gluing the house. I think I'll put the little truck off to the side so you can still see the joy to the world on here. And I think I'll put the brush tree right here to the side. I think that that will be a cute little scene and it won't be overboard. Okay, so let's start with doing the little house. So I'm going to put lots of glue. I'm wondering if I should have used wood glue. Maybe this will hold. Okay, I'm gonna go in about right here. Cute. That just grabbed it perfectly. Okay, and then I'm going to that's already I think I might put the truck on this side. I was gonna put it on the other side, but I think I'll do it like this because there's a little bit more space on here. So I think I will put the tree right here. Now, this has a little hanger there, but I cut the little twine thing off. I didn't want that. It's so cute. I love this. And then I, I'm going to put the truck here. I'm wondering if I should add some of my cotton. 
and I might not put too, too much. I just kind of want it where it's sitting kind of like this. Uh, yeah, I think I should put my cotton. I think I'll add some glue just to kind of hold my cotton in place. And this is just, I'm just calling it cotton, it's polyfill. I'm going to add some glue under here. too much it's sticking to me not too much just a little the truck is gonna go here I like that okay so I'm gonna add my glue to the wheels now my little trucks I got them um, when the Christmas stuff started coming out at Hobby Lobby That's cute. How simple was this? Look at that. Isn't that so simple? Okay, I want to make sure that the cotton isn't going to fly or my polyfill is not going to go around. So I'm just going to add random little bits of glue. Okay, you don't, I want to make sure I got a little bit on the back. Not too much. I don't want it to be a snowstorm. I think I want a little bit on the sides. This really is a lot of fun and so simple so simple if you can't if you go to target and you don't find the little houses look over in their art section sometimes they have them there and yeah or you can just go into hobby lobby in their wood section they've usually got some stuff that you can that you can use for this but make sure you get this wood piece out of the christmas section because that's where it's on sale half price and look how sweet that is already. I wonder if I should add some little ball, Christmas balls to the brush tree. So I'm gonna grab, let's see if I can do, I'm gonna see what it's gonna look like. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little dot and then stick it on my tree. I love this. This is so fun. I'll have to go show my hubby. He always likes it when I show him some of the things that I make. Yeah, he does. Very supportive. I told my husband, I said, I know you don't watch my videos. He's subscribed, but I know you don't, he doesn't watch my videos, but it's not of interest to him and I get it. It's okay. Um, but I told him, as long as you support what I do, he said, oh, I absolutely support what you do. So, in fact, we just talked about this yesterday. Put one back here. Hope I didn't get glue all over everywhere on that one. I need to see about a star. I mean, every tree needs a star. Okay, I think I've got like two more. I'm not gonna overdo these. And if you wanna leave a little bit of that there, you can and just kind of poke it in. It's not gonna make any difference. With 
all we need. Need another one. Need a red. And I think I'll need one red up here. And maybe a white. And remember, these are the ones that I showed you yesterday that I was working with. They were, these are like $1.99, but on sale half price. So, a dollar. Came up with this up here. I love this. I hope you've stuck around with me to see the result. You know, the result is the best part of a craft of a, of a craft project. Okay, I'm wondering if I have a little, some kind of star somewhere. I'll be right back. Okay, so I didn't find a star, but I do have a tiny bow that would fit right up there. So, add a little glue. We're going to Touch the edge, stick it on. Oh yeah, that will work out fine. And these are just from the Christmas section, Hobby Lobby. Y'all, this is so cute. So, so cute. There's some little faux, um, these are like little faux um, logs. They're like, they're not even like real logs. I'm wondering if I need anything else. Okay, I think that I'm gonna take one of these tip board pieces. I think I'm gonna do the Christmas Joy. And I think I'm gonna add it. I, th I thought about adding it here, but I think it, now that I look at it, it's too big. Let me see which other one. The Jingle Bells is a little smaller. Let me see how that one. Or, well, you know what? I've got Mary. I think I'll do Mary. I can hang it. Hang it on the front. Let me see if I'm going to like that before I go and do it. You know what? I don't like it. But I think I might put it like back here like it's a license plate. Put it back here. See that? That's cute. Okay, I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more of my polyfill because I feel like I need some under the tree. Just a little. Add some glue. Just add, I have a little baby pine cone. I think laying it out here because it's like from nature or whatever. So I'm thinking I will add that. I think that might be enough. See, it's kind of like it's laying out. Got the joy to the world. That looks cute. Okay, let me bring you out a little bit. Okay, so this is what it looks like. How cute is this? So easy too. So, so easy. There's the back. So cute. I could put a little bow right there on the front of that. Where's those stickers? That's what I could put. 
a little bow right here on the front of the truck. I think that's what I'll do. And then I'll call it good. And that's it, y'all. That's all I'm going to do. How cute is this? Isn't it? Didn't it turn out darling? I love this. And I love adding the little balls to the trees. It turned out perfect. I love it. I love it so much. Anyway, that's it for tonight, y'all. I am going to go in there and watch TV with my husband. Not going to craft anymore tonight. But anyway, I am going to... I'll have to go show him what I created. And, um... Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.